regarding Cardi. Not necessarily Cardi himself, but we all know his label Opium, right? So Squirt Reynolds, AKA Kirko on Twitter now, he posted that um, young KO might be signed to Opium due to some things that he said on Discord. And I just wanted to let y'all know, I got some inside info for y'all. So, Kirko said young KO says he's joining Playboy Cardi's label Opium. And because, like, the information they had, the evidence, is that somebody asked, join Opium. Young KO says, I am dot 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 now discord names can be easily faked so i was sitting there like maybe somebody just changed their name but i feel like they would do their due diligence of checking to see if that was the real young ko that said that so i'm just gonna trust the source squirt reynolds aka kurko does good work so then my interpretation of this was like maybe he's just affiliated because as in like, you know how Lil Baby's technically like YSL, but he's really signed to QC just because, you know, Young Thug is an OG, I don't know, contributor to his career. Like Young Thug was the one who convinced him to get out of the hood. No, so he might not be signed to YSL necessarily, wherein, whereas Gunna is and like Lil Keed and some other ones who are affiliated in that crew but Lil Baby went to QC, but obviously Lil Baby and Gunna came up together. So then I was like, okay, whatever. He's, he's just affiliated, but it's still odd that he would say that in Discord saying like, I am like, don't you need a chain or something to confirm that you are? And plus for other people who were saying that he like left YSL, to go to opium like let's let's check this out real quick so on spotify he just dropped an album young stoner life records now i don't know about y'all but usually when you sign a deal and i believe this is his first studio album with ysl so usually it's going to be like three to five albums at least when you sign to a major and YSL is backed by another major, I don't know what it is, maybe like 300, cause I know that's who Young Thug was signed to or Atlantic or somebody big, like one of the major labels, maybe Atlant uh, fucking Warner or Universal even, the two major and Sony. Um, and then Young KO was even on that song with Uzi, like Uzi, I'm proud of you. Yeah, you can't just jump to opium. So then after I tweeted and responded just saying like maybe he's affiliated but he's not signed because I feel like a lot of people rep different shit like Uzi reps XO but he's technically signed to Rock Nation and then he's also a generation now like I don't think XO he has an XO chain right but he's not necessarily signed to them. Same thing with Uzi's technically YSL affiliated but he doesn't he's not signed to them then somebody who has a particular hieroglyphics uh form of writing let's just say on the internet not the man cardi but let's just say one of them said that dude is not opium just out of the blue i was like i ha i didn't even hit them up i didn't even ask them because i didn't even want to go into it like I just, there's no way that he was signed to opium, but they, they came out and said that dude is not opium. Actually, they didn't say that dude. They said that N is not opium, but I did see some people trying to defend KO saying like, he's, you know, he was in Ken Carson's music video and all this shit trying to. I don't know, bring evidence to support the fact that he literally could be opium. Let's check that out and see if there's anything good. Would make sense. Ken was in contour video for KO. Okay, wait, they responded to mine. So they, they supported what I said, that he's just affiliated. And then Jay, Jay is part of Bob Gang and he said, well, there goes his career. That doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, Lucas. My man fucking ratioed him. Yeah, not like two of Cardi's signees are the most known artists in the underground and are popping heavily right now or anything. 
Autumn, SSG, Kobe, and Cash Nami are more popular than them. So yeah, yeah, you're right. They aren't. NPC statement. Is that true? There's literally no way. I'm pretty sure that Ken got more streams and monthly listeners than Cash Dami. Who else did he say? He said SSG Kobe and Autumn. Let's check that. Let's check that. So Ken Carson got what? 867K? I'm just going to put Cash Dami because I feel like he's the smallest out of the artists they listed. 1.4 mil? What the fuck? Maybe it's because he got that trippy red feature. And then reparations got 41 mil. What? How much is what is Ken Carson? What? Cash Dami low key fucking killing the stream, bro. What? 41 mil and then 19 mil with baby Santana. Look in the mirror. 29 mil. 10 mil in public. Yo, what? TikTok, bro, TikTok. I don't give a fuck what the method of getting the streams was. This shit is crazy. I didn't think like the plug scene was that big, but in all reality, I do think Ken Carson is bigger than Cash Nami. And maybe it's not reflected in the streams or the monthly listeners because ken literally every time he drops on soundcloud trends on the soundcloud like weekly or whatever it's called whereas i don't know if cash dami's does maybe he does but maybe not as high as ken would i bet you if ken and cash dami drop in the same day ken would sell more also i don't think ken gets as much push or backing and that's no diss towards cash dami i'm just saying um does he have more ig followers i don't know but yeah, Ken, I feel like it when he drops X-Men, because I think Ken got what, like, uh, 800K? Yeah, he got 800K off, like, no music out, basically. Other, the only, stu like, Project X, I think, is his first studio project. Yeah, Opium, it says right here. But let's check, you're right. Let's check his Instagram followers. So, Cash Dummy got 412k followers ken carson he actually i don't think ken got that 200 bro ken carson got 266k cash dami got 412 that shit crazy who gets more engagement though let's check that cash dami on his last pick five days ago 59k this will be the ultimate decider low-key 59k okay yeah see th there's no question it's all about engagement people i don't give a fuck about followers if you're getting like a million likes with a million followers you're bigger than somebody who has five million followers but gets 100k likes you know what i'm saying can just wiped the fuck out of that i'm sorry it just it just that's literally like over almost three times the amount. It shows you who's hot right now. Exactly. And we're talking about right now. Cash Adami, I feel like has been out since like 2016 or something. Like when was his first YouTube video? Cash Adami World Star. I know he was on World Star. Capping up one year ago. I see that wasn't that long ago. That was like a year ago. He looks so young in that. Dude looks like he's 12. Instagram stats mean nothing. That is such a false statement, my guy. Instagram, I understand, doesn't necessarily always translate into streams. But if you're not, if people aren't tuning in to like your pics and like asking you for music and all that shit, then you're not hot and like people aren't streaming your shit anyway. And maybe you're getting more streams, and this is unrelated to Cash Dami or Ken Carson comparison. 
but if your streams are all coming from your label pushing you onto different playlists and all that it's very short term whereas if you actually have a cult like fan base who's tuning into your projects without even mark any marketing budget like that's when you make the real money but if your label say gives you a, a million dollar advance but then they have to do spotify playlists and like put a bunch of money into marketing you say another million so that's two million you have to recoup before you make money off of it whereas say someone else got a, a million but then they don't need a marketing budget because they literally just get streams no matter what because people fuck with them they're gonna profit double right there right off the bat there are hella bots on instagram okay there are hella bots on every platform like what the fuck are you talking about what do you think tell me which stats mean more please you're saying streams over IG stats. As we just discussed, first of all, you don't think that these labels be botting their fucking streams? I thought we went over this. They literally got stream farms in fucking China that literally be doing millions per day. Easy. Insta has the most bots. I guarantee you can. Here's a good indicator. And I understand that you can get, I don't know, you can get botted comments, but let's just check this shit. So 137K likes 6,000, almost, almost six and a half K comments. Okay. Let's do cash down. That's a lot of comments, by the way. Okay. 59K, 849, not even a thousand comments. Comments are the least botted part of Instagram. Come on, people. And I'm not saying that it's fake. Cash Dummy doesn't isn't fake. I'm not saying I'm just saying it's like Ken just has a way more engaged following currently. That's just the way it is. That's no diss. It's just being objective. I don't I'm not like a, a dick sucker fan. I just look at the just look at the numbers constantly. It's like my fucking I don't, I don't know. I even do it with my bank account and my girl. I'm like, you got to do this. You got to do this. Like you got to move this way. You should stop buying that dress. And then maybe you can use your money this way and invest it this such like it's Ken's fan base is just more active right now. Okay. Bro didn't bro. Hasn't even dropped in like so long in like almost a year right now would be like a time that it's not active and look there's also gonna be some arguments against ken in that like he got his friend uh, fans from cardi which low-key he kind of did okay i know some of y'all are gonna claim like yo i've been here since fucking 5k followers i knew about ken before he even got affiliated with cardi i get it here's your props you want it here's a trophy Here's a trophy. Nobody gives a fuck. But I personally would not know who Ken Carson is without Cardi. So take that information how you will. Cardi's fan base is super engaged. So of course his artist fan base is going to be super engaged because I'm pretty sure every single Ken Carson fan is a Playboy Cardi fan. I'd say like at least 90%, maybe 95%.